Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem while installing the code blocks IDE on your uh, Mac operating system. So you have copied uh, this code blocks icon into your applications folder, but when you uh, just uh, click on it to start it, it says code blocks needs to be updated. And it says the developer of this app needs to update it to work with the version of Mac OS. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So let me delete this code blocks application first of all, because we don't need it. We need the different version of code blocks. So to solve that, you need to go to your browser and search for code blocks once again. And then the first link which will appear here will be from codeblocks.org. So I'm going to click on this link and then click on the downloads link here and then click on download the binary release and then click on Mac OS X uh, link here. And now you can see two options. One is FossHub and other is SourceForge.net. I'm going to click on the SourceForge.net and most probably you have also done the same previously, but you don't need to download this version of code blocks. So I'm going to cancel the download of this version, which starts automatically. This is the 32 bit version for code blocks, which is compatible with the previous version of Mac OS. But you need to go here once again, once the download of that file is complete, when you scroll down, you will be redirected to uh, the sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash code blocks URL. Here, you need to scroll down and then click on this files tab here. So click on the files tab and then you need to download the 64 bit DMG version here. Okay. So you don't need to uh, download the zip file, but when you go to the files option, you need to download the DMG version of code blocks here. I'm going to give this URL in the description of this video also, so you can directly come to this uh, website. Otherwise, when you click on the SourceForge website from the code blocks, it's going to download the zip file, which we don't require. I'm going to uh, download this uh, .dmg file for the 64-bit option. And once I click on that option, the download of the DMG file will start and not the zip file. You can see I have previously downloaded the zip file because the download of the zip file starts automatically, which I don't want, right? I want the DMG file for OS X 64. Once the file is downloaded, click on uh, the file, which is going to start the installer for code blocks. Let me minimize the browser. Now the process of installation is really simple. Just click on the code blocks icon here, press command key and then drag and drop this code blocks icon on top of the applications folder until you see the plus symbol and then leave it on the applications folder. So now code blocks is transferred to your applications folder. And now I can see this icon here. Once you see the code blocks icon, or inside your applications folder, you can uh, just close this uh, installer window. And then I can go to launch pad and then open the code blocks from here. Or I can even go to the applications folder in the finder and open the code blocks from there. Just click on the code blocks IDE. It's going to start the code blocks IDE now. So for the first time when a code block starts, it's going to recognize the compiler. In my case, it has recognized two compilers. One is the GNU GCC compiler and other is LLVM CLang compiler. Default is the GNU GCC compiler. So I'm going to leave it as default. You can also leave it as default. If you want to change the default compiler to the CLang compiler, just select that and then set as default. So just click on set as default and then you will use the CLang compiler. But for now I will use the GCC compiler. So I'm going to click on OK here, which is going to start the code blocks IDE. Now once the code blocks IDE starts, let's create a very simple C++ program. So I'm going to click on the file here and then click on new. 
and then I can click on the project option. So new project and here you can choose from so many different projects. For now, I want to create a console application. So I'm going to click on console application here and then click on go. And then it says uh, we are going to create the console application. I'm going to click on next and it will be a C++ application. So I'm going to select C++ and then click on next. And then I'm going to provide the project title. I'm going to name my project as hello world here. And then I can also choose the destination where I want to save this project. So I'm going to click on these two dots button and then I want to save this project in my documents folder. So I'm going to choose the documents folder and then click on open, which is going to save my project in my documents folder. Now I'm going to click on next. And then here you can see I can choose the compiler, which is GCC by default. Here I also have the option to choose the other compilers if I have those compilers, right? Also, it says create a debug configuration. I will leave it as default. Also, it says create a release configuration. I will also leave it as default and then click on finish here. Once I click on finish, my project is created. So this is a C++ project. And here I can see under sources, I have one main.cpp file. So let me click on that, which is going to code blocks application quits unexpectedly. And I can see this message which says, code blocks quit unexpectedly, click report to see the details. So let's see how we can sh solve this problem. So for now, I'm going to click on ignore. Once again, I'm going to open the code blocks here. And once code blocks opens, before opening my project, what I need to do is I need to click on plugins here and then click on manage plugins. And there is a plugin called code completion plugin, which causes this error. So I'm going to select code completion plugin and then click on disable in front of it. So I have disabled this code completion plugin. And once this code completion plugins is disabled, I'm going to try to open the project once again. So let me just click on file, click on open, and then click on my project and then click on open once again. And this time you will observe that the code blocks doesn't quit unexpectedly and my project is opened. So let me just uh, click on the main.cpp file here. And this is the code which is generated automatically by the code blocks for us. So to compile this code, I just need to click on this build button. So let me click on build button, which is going to compile my project. And there is no error in it, zero error, zero warning. To run it, I'm going to click on this uh, green run button. So when I click on run button, it says code blocks wants access to control terminal. Yes, because we are creating the terminal application, code blocks will run this uh, C++ program in the terminal. So I'm going to click on OK here and it runs the application in the terminal and it will uh, show this kind of uh, problem here. So when you see uh, this kind of problem on your ZSH, which says no such file or directory on code blocks, what you need to do is, um, let me just close this terminal, go to your code blocks, and then here, click on settings, and then click on environment. And under terminal to launch the console program, instead of this line, so instead of uh, this script, terminal to launch the console program, I need to change this script a little. So I need to change it to uh, this uh, script. So first part is okay. OSA script hyphen E tell app terminal hyphen E activate hyphen E do script until do script. Everything is okay. But now it says quoted form of. So I need to remove the quoted form of from here. So let me uh, just remove this from here quoted from off and now this uh, script looks fine, right? So just uh, remove that section which says quoted from off and it's going to work. So OSA hyphen E, uh, tell app terminal 
hyphen e activate hyphen e do script space script and then hyphen e and tell i'm going to click on ok here and once i do that and then when i click on the run button once again it's going to work you can see it prints hello world now and everything is working this is how you can download and install code blocks on your mac operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video